The Lewis Round Wilson Library, a building on campus that marks the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill as a top-notch research university because of the library's remarkable collection of rare books. Completed in 1929, the Wilson Library was originally called the University Library, being renamed in 1958. Before the construction of the now-called Wilson Library, Carnegie stood as the main library on campus. With a rapidly growing student population, however, Carnegie was outgrown. To develop the university into a modern university, there was a dire need for a new, more expansive library. With the help of the librarian Lewis Round Wilson, the president of the university, Harry Woodburn Chase, architect Arthur Cleveland Nash, and John Sprunt Hill, the dream of the new library on campus became a reality. While the plans of the new library were being made, Lewis Wilson and President Chase had to figure out how to get funding for the new library. Lewis Wilson initially believed the library would cost $1 million back in 1921. In today's dollars, this is equivalent to about $13 million. During this time period, North Carolina also had a very frugal governor, unlikely to fund the new library. With other buildings being built at UNC around the same time, like the Keenan Memorial Stadium, the governor was certainly receiving other requests for funding, making it even harder for Lewis. However, thanks to the persistence of Wilson and President Chase, they were able to allocate a total of $625,000 for the funding of the new library, and luckily, a generous donor made the stadium possible. Finally, with ambitious faculty members overseeing the operations and making sure everything was being built correctly, the Wilson Library was completed on time in 1929. Although the library was originally going to be built with brick to match the surrounding aesthetic of Polk Place, the architect, Arthur Cleveland Nash, used limestone instead. Nash wanted to make sure the library was the dominant building on the quad. The limestone was also added for the antiquated look of the building. Likewise, how, according to a survey I conducted in 2017, 73% of the individuals surveyed believe the building was much older than the 1920s. Years later, with the university gaining more and more students in recognition, even the Wilson Library was not large enough. In 1952, when the enrollment of students skyrocketed from the GI Bill, the university started a large addition to the back of the Wilson Library. This addition created space to house new books, created new reading rooms, and even included a rare books room for students to study the past. As the university kept growing even larger, more additions were required. In 1977, there was a large stack addition, adding over one million volumes to the library. Adding these volumes entailed to building a whole other extension building on the south side of Wilson. Last but not least, in 1984 through 1987, there was a massive renovation done to the inside of the library. This helped make spaces in the library more efficient and allow new security updates to be installed. The university during this renovation was also able to install a climate control system to preserve many of the books from deteriorating. Overall, from the 1920s to the present, the Wilson Library has not only transformed the University of North Carolina, but has also been transformed itself, becoming the magnificent building it is today.